Before you guys start this video, I do want to announce that the Cold Start Nation shirts are live on PrimalDriven.com. If you want one, go over there right now. It's be the first link in the description. Pick it up while you can. Thank you guys. What's up guys, you've made it to the video, so you're doing something right for the day. Clicked on this, good job, good on ya. If you look in the back here, I'll show some video right now, also over this. The Speed 3 is in pieces right now, and I have to put it back together. Me, me, myself, and I. It is a very, very daunting task. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to do it by myself, but I'm going to try. I do have things labeled out from yesterday. I did a lot of prep work and exactly trying to figure out what goes to where. So like the last video, I'm doing my injector seals and I actually just picked up another injector because I broke one of them. So that was a nice $200 and an additional $200 to the tuning prop, which is expected, I guess. I know, I know. I'm gonna get all the hate in the world. Okay. So I'm gonna get to put him back in the car right now. It is a huge, huge, huge task. I got like pieces of my engine just on the ground. The intake manifolds over there just on the ground. So let's get to it. So like I said before, I have things labeled out with the bolts to the corresponding thing. This is actually, I think, is what is going to save me in the long run. I know it took a long time yesterday doing all that, looking at the instructions, getting everything coordinated, but I think that exact piece of the puzzle is what's gonna help me get everything back together. So we're gonna see. This task is very daunting. I'm actually pretty scared to do it, but if I can do this at the end of this, I pronounce myself as a car god. $200. So the real reason why we did this install a couple days ago, or attempted to do the install, was to change out these seals right here. But there's a seal right here, it's called an injector seal. We're gonna change it out with different seals. This is a little crappy piece of rubber looking thing. We're gonna change it out with that, this. I'll show you guys right now. So what you do is you take the injector, you take off the old seal, so this is what it's gonna look like, and you put the new seal on there and you're gonna push down on this till it gets to the very bottom there is supposed to be a little tiny gap push down from the middle and it's honestly probably done yep this is what it looks like now this is much better seal than that rubber piece of crap and here are all four injectors with the seals on them right now this is how they look this one's the brand new one and these are the three old ones they don't look much different to be completely honest so that's good let's go Putting injector one in, oh, it, it goes on a lot easier than it came off. That's for sure, it goes on a lot easier than it came off. Last injector going in. This is the brand new one. And the brand new one fits great. Okay, so this is what I've done so far. I put the injectors back on and then you're gonna put these little clamps around the injectors back on with their Torx 40 bolts. And you're gonna torque it down to 17 to 18 foot pounds of torque. The next thing you do, these are the injectors and the Torx 40 bolts you just bolted down. You're gonna reattach all these clamps, the fuel injector clamps. There's four of them for four injectors. Hashtag JDM bro. What we're gonna do now is we're going to, I zip tied this back cause this wants to come forward. So when I was trying to install this, the fuel rail, I couldn't. So I'm gonna take this off. This is the fuel line that goes into the fuel rail that puts fuel in here, that goes to the injectors, that pushes into your engine. So we're gonna cut this back. This is gonna fly into there. I'm gonna bolt that up. And this yellow line back here, right here, I'm gonna attach back onto this, where there's sunlight right now, right there. So from out coming in, this is how it looks. Put on these bolts. There are two more bolts that you need to follow this piece right here to find where they go in. Put on that. Okay, intake manifolds back on. All you literally do is push it in. I put in one bolt in the intake manifold. There are six total, one here. There's there's a lot. There's five up top and there's one down below you gotta get to. They're all the same size bolts and everything. You need to bolt back on the, the dipstick basically. Uh, there's a little lever that holds the dipstick here and you need to bolt that back on to make sure dipstick doesn't go flying around. You don't have a bad seal somewhere. Also, there's also this piece that also bolts back on to the intake manifold right there and one underneath. So do that. It's coming together, it's coming together, it's coming together. Last, so I'm gonna show you the next thing I've been doing. After the intake manifold's on, I still only have one bolt on there. I haven't bolted everything on, just in case I need to take it off, just in case I screw something up. 
What I've been doing so far is I've been plugging back in the sensors that are that connect into the intake manifold. There's also a map sensor down there that you can't really see. I got there from underneath the car. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. I'm reconnecting everything, every single line that I can find that connects into the intake manifold, I'm reconnecting. Currently installing this shield. I can't be freaking seen. This shield right here, installing this that went over the fuel rail. So we're doing the fuel rail shield right now. There's four bolts, it goes in a square rectangle pattern. Pretty self-explanatory, just put them back on. Okay, the things I've done, this is this the, the driver's side part of the engine. Um, I've put in this EGR tube that goes all the way, there it is still right there. And it connects over here. I'm gonna pull up the camera slowly so you guys can kind of see everything. That's where it is, right there, and it's connecting all the way down here. You connect this side with a 22 millimeter wrench, and this is with like two 8 millimeter bolts over here. Next thing we're doing is the throttle body, which is actually close to the EGR tube. This is the throttle body. We're gonna connect this line. I mean, there's four um, bolts that go back on, and then we're gonna attach the um, coolant lines back on. Boom, and then another one, boom. From back here, what I just did is I replaced the vacuum hose line. I replaced this line right here that runs all the way up. You gotta clamp it back in here, and then all the way up here, and you gotta clamp it back in here. And there's this line right here with a blue collar. Got a blue collar. My camera's being bunk right now and not showing it, so my bad. Everything from this point that I've done, you guys have actually seen in videos before. So I just put back the turbo inlet pipe. Put back the intake, reconnected the map sensor to the intake, which is right here. Um, the connector, this is gonna get plugged into the intercooler, which isn't on yet. This will get plugged into the intercooler, and I believe that will get plugged into the intercooler as well. So there isn't much blue tape anymore, which is cool, meaning that it is almost done. I did shred up some bolts over here, right there and right there, so I gotta go get some new ones real quick and I'll be right back. I got the new bolts and they are in. We're Gucci now, time to put on the intercooler and connect everything that the intercooler connects to. And then we test it out. I was thinking about, oh, what if this doesn't work? When I was going to the bolts, I was thinking to myself, huh, what if I did all this for three hours and it just didn't work? Crap. All right, I, th I think I did it. Um, I think I did it. Now granted, there's not a lot of cleaning up to do, but look at all this blue tape on the ground, man. Jeez, all that came from inside the car and on the bolts and everything. There's no more left back in here. Actually, no, I did not do it. I am so glad I saw this. Look at this hose right here. All right, hose is now connected. Checking everything else, battery's in, everything's good, grounded. Uh, ECU's on. Intercooler is back on, connected to all the tubes. One thing that's easy to forget is the turbo inlet pipe, the little tiny hosing. It's time to get the car off the jack and test it. I'm gonna clean up a little bit before then, get the car off the jack, test it, so everything works. I got a fire extinguisher, just in case. Um, this is a very, very sketchy moment for me. I know the car turns on battery wise, I just don't know if it turns over. So here we go. Wait, okay. That was really sketch, but I just remember part of the direction says there's something to do with priming the fuel system. And that might have been that. Priming the fuel system and initial startup. Verify that everything is assembled correctly before startup. Prime the fuel system. Keyed ignition with your foot off the clutch. Cycle the key on and off until the electric fuel pump stays on for one to two seconds. Typically six to eight cycles. The engine may start quickly, may start and quickly die. This is due to some air being in the fuel system. Wait 30 seconds and start the engine again. The engine should stay running at this point. It may take a few seconds before the engine revs towards normal start of RPMs. This is due to the air in the fuel system being pushed out. That cold start though! Woo! Oh my god. 
gosh, that is so loud. I think that's good. It turns on. Um, Cold Start Nation, where are you at? Okay, it's doing good. I'll keep you guys updated. Boys and girls, we have lift off. Dude, I did this for myself. Like, I put everything back together myself. That is so freaking tight. You don't even know. This is the car, baby. It's super dirty. So is the Miata, but geez. It is going. It's running good. Sad thing is, I got in my car. What happened? Tire pressure light came on. That's the second time it's came on. One of the tires has a slow leak in it and they're brand new. So I gotta go get that taken care of at some point, which is very annoying. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys learned something today. I know I did. I know I feel really good about myself right now, which is tight. Like this is, woo, car's working. The car's working. This is amazing. Oh my gosh, it's super dirty and it needs a wash, but it's working. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please give me a thumbs up for what I did today. I feel like I stepped up today. I stepped up the plate and I accomplished something. So, see you later guys. Booty going up, down. I ain't got no problem spending all of my money.